Are you looking for a drop-dead easy tool to start doing email newsletters to your customers? Well, today we're going to cover review, and this might be the tool that finally gets you doing it. Hi, I'm David with TechSmart Boss, and today we're going to cover a really cool product called Review. Review covers two important things when it comes to communicating with your sales leads, your partners, your customers, your fans, whoever you might be interested in reaching. First, it allows you to show your domain expertise. You can create a really professional newsletter of all the content that you've created on your particular websites and assets, but you can also curate things around all the interwebs on your subject of expertise and send that out to your subscriber list. Now, the second piece is if you don't have a subscriber list, they're going to give you a lot of great tools and a lot of great assets for you to start to build a subscriber list. So review meets my three main criteria for something being something that a tech smart boss would use. One, it's easy. Two, it's affordable. And three, it's something that's going to help make your business look more professional. So I'm going to show you how easy review is to, to get started with in this particular video in terms of the pricing right here on your website you can see free now 200 subscribers that's not a lot but if you're just getting started it's gonna be plenty to start with but I'm gonna show you a little bit later the pro which I'm a member of and you can see up to 1500 subscribers for five dollars a month that's a really good deal and you can grow that as you need to and then even up to 10,000 is $25 a month so well worth it I think once you see how easy it is to start to build these newsletters Speaking of that, they give you a little bit of inspiration right here on the website. If you go to their gallery, they'll show you a whole bunch of their newsletters. And what's great about these, I like one, they're going to be really easy. You'll see that when I start to build those up. But if I kind of come down here and look at some of these, let's check out this guy right here. You'll see that what you get with each of these is you get a profile page that one, very easy for subscribers to put their email in and subscribe to. But what I like even more, you can see a listing of all the previous newsletters. And this is what I like because when I subscribe to something, I kind of want to know what I'm subscribing to before I do it. So I can come here and kind of click and see what the last couple of newsletters had in it and if I want to get this in my email box or not. And you'll see a very nice professional design where you can put images and links around the web, headers, social media things, very nicely done and for just how easy it is, you can't beat it. So let's get started and actually sign up and build our first newsletter. All right, so right from the website, we're going to click on this Start Your Own Review. Let's start it. And a little weird, they have you sign up with a social network. You can't actually build a profile with a username and password. Since Google is part of our Tech Smart Boss Blueprint, we're going to go ahead and sign up with our Google account. So let's click on that. I'm already logged in to my Google domain, so I'm going to go ahead and allow this integration. And what that's going to do is take me right in so that I can start to set up my account. So very easy to get on board. Now, it's going to kind of go through a little bit of a, 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 a walkthrough here, but I'm going to go ahead and close this, and I'm going to walk you through really quickly. So we're in the account settings. I've already kind of configured this a little bit. There are certain things you can't do in the free version that you can in the pro. So for example, in the free version, all the emails are going to go through uh, reviews domain, getreview.co. Uh, when you upgrade to pro, very easy to set that to yours. And I, I do recommend that because you want your emails coming from your brand. You can also set up your username, which is going to be an extension on your profile, which is very nice. As soon as you upload your profile image, that puts that right at the top of your newsletter. Looks really nice the way they designed that. And of course, you can set up your issue descriptions and things like that. Certain things you can't do unless you're pro, for example, changing the welcome text when people subscribe. But you are able to put in your Twitter and your Facebook, which is very nice. So when people share your content, it's going to have a little mention to you, bring people back uh, into your assets on your social media networks. Other cool things. Now, settings has some really nice features. You do have to be pro to take advantage of the big one, which is the custom domain. Again, I highly recommend that. So it's your brand. You want it to have your domain in that. And this is very easy to set up once you upgrade to pro. In your design, you can change some things when you're in the pro. So free is going to give you the basics. Pro is going to allow you to configure your email header, even putting a custom one in there. You could take their logo off, which is a nice thing. And you can up date your colors in your newsletter so you can do a little bit more design stuff when you're in the pro and then the integrations are really powerful in review 
And that's what makes it nice is that as you curate this information all over the internet, you can automatically connect to all your social networks, have those links that you've already shared available to put into your newsletter. I use Pocket. So that makes that really nice and easy. And then what I really like down here is if you're using MailChimp, you can import your existing subscribers from there. You can automatically publish your digest, your newsletters to LinkedIn. Uh, they got WordPress plugins and sign up forms. So this is what I was mentioning when I talked about lead tools to help you build your subscriber list. This Twitter card one is really, really, really nice. I'm going to do another video just on showing you how to set that up because it's really powerful. It's not hard, but it's something that unless you see it, you probably would never try to do it. Uh, but everything you've got here makes it really easy for you to get content into your newsletter. So, so, so great features here. Now, let's actually go in and take a look at creating a newsletter. So you'll notice that my icon is here. Some of the text that I filled out in my account settings are already kind of preloaded here. And you'll notice there's a little space here for introductory text. I'll just put welcome to the first. So you can put anything you want there. Nice font comes in really nice. You'll see it auto saves. And then all you have to do to kind of put in text is add your section headers. I might say cool app of the week. But then you can put in uh, any website link you want. Let's actually put in. Oops. And add that link. And what's really cool, it's going to go out there to the web and pull in the metadata about it. A little snippet of their icon on their website and text. And what's nice is you can edit all these. I can move this over here. I can go in here and type in more here at this point. Or if I want to add in some text to kind of describe why this is cool, I can kind of move this up here and type my own introduction here. So very, very easy to come in here and start to do some really cool things by adding images, adding links, adding text, adding sections. As soon as you're ready to kind of preview that, you can email it to yourself or you can just show it in your browser and see how that's going to look. And you can kind of see they've got the ability to subscribe when they look at your digest on that. If I go back here, you'll see it's just as easy to go in here and schedule this issue to send out to my subscribers. So a very, very easy workflow. Now this little box over here, my items, once you've done all those integrations, you're going to have your links that you've curated across the web pop right in here. You just have to bring those right into your newsletter. Just slice them over. So very nice feature, makes it very easy. And what I would recommend is you bring in at the top of your newsletter things that you published for that week, you know, on your blog site, maybe your videos that you released on YouTube or wherever it might be, introduce what new product offerings and services you have, and then bring in some of the best of the web in your domain expertise that your customer is going to be interested in. Uh, so really easy to build these. Um, you'll notice here I can got some great subscriber management. I can import I can manually add, I can test myself, I can invite friends, so they make that easy. And if you do need inspiration, that same type of gallery that we saw at the beginning, you can kind of get back in there and look at other sort of uh, newsletters and see how that's going to look in your particular design. So you can kind of steal some ideas if you don't feel very creative in how to do that. So a lot of really nice features. So just like that, booyah, we built our first newsletter. And hey, I'm happier than the kid in the arcade with a pocket full of quarters at this point. So now all we have to do is finish this up and schedule it. If you're like me, you know you should always stay in touch with your lead list and your customers. But trying to create email newsletters has always been a pain in the past. So you'll see here, I got the pro subscription to review. And you can see that once you get in there and apply your branding, you can set up your custom domains and do all the things that I, I talked about before that you can't do in the free version. You got a really nice branded asset that you can start to share. These are types of things that you can go ahead and put it in your email signature, send it out on your, uh, share it on your website, put it out on your social networks. And that, that solves two problems at one time. One, it gets information about your products and services into uh, the email boxes of your leads and your customers. And secondly, it's a great asset to help you start to build up your lead list uh, through the different tools like the Twitter card and the WordPress integration and just the subscription page that you get from their digest. Hey, if you like this video, do me a huge favor. 
Please like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tell all your friends about us. We're new, we're just getting started. Really a pleasure to have you take a look at us. Oh, and also, be sure to sign up for our weekly digest of the best articles from around the web that a tech smart boss has to know about. We're using review, so we're using the same tool that you just saw me talk about. Uh, and if you have a product you'd like us to review as a tech smart boss solution, leave us a comment. You know, I'm going to be doing more and more of these, so I'd love to have your suggestions. Now remember, just because you're a small business doesn't mean you can't have some big technology. So don't just be a boss, be a tech smart boss.